What's up you guys, this is Insanity and welcome to another breaking tutorial. Today we're gonna be digging a little bit deeper into the head elbow freeze and learning how to roll back into it. How to literally get into it from your back. And the reason why this is a great transition is just a really easy way to pop up into this freeze out of any type of movement that you're doing. If you guys haven't learned the head elbow freeze yet, make sure you guys click the link here, learn that first and then continue with this tutorial. All right, without further ado, let's get down to the floor. Alright you guys, so as I mentioned in my past videos, this is one of my favorite freezes, a freeze that really uh, gave me a lot of ammunition in my dancing. It taught me really how to hold and stick my freezes, it really taught me how to have control in my freezes, and also it really taught me how to get creative with freezes. So today, we're going to be learning one of the really basic ways to get into this freeze, which is a rollback. And if you guys have not yet, make sure you guys click the link here, learn some of the basics on rollbacks before you continue with this video, and then go ahead and learn, okay? So what makes this a little bit tricky is we're not just lifting up, we're not just kicking up you know, onto our hands or onto our head, but we're also catching ourselves in that head elbow position, all right? So it's not just about like muscling my way into it, and it's not just about like flying up into it. It's a combination of lift, and control. The control really comes with your arms, the lift comes with your legs and your core, okay? So the first thing we're gonna learn is the basic lift, all right? So, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna roll back, I'm gonna start to tuck my legs in like this, okay? Let's try it again. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna tuck my legs in here, all right? Once my legs are tucked, I'm gonna start lifting up all the way into a headstand, okay? So let's try it actually first, just lifting, catching into a normal headstand, okay? So let's go like this, roll back, up, like that, okay? Normal headstand, right? You can even do that without using your arms if you really get good at it. So with that said, when you guys kick up, you also wanna make sure you really follow through so that you lift all the way up. If you hesitate at all, you will do this little bounce thing. You will go like this and you'll fly back. Right? And that's not what we want to do. We want to lift up. We want our, our power to go straight up into the air. Okay? Not backwards. Right? If we kick too early, we fly backwards. If we kick at the right time, we go up. Okay? So, this time, when we lift up, our arms are going to be there to catch. And I'm actually going to pull up my sleeves because my, my, my arm is going to be a little bit slippery. This is going to really help me kind of grip and catch myself. I'm going to roll back. My arms are gonna plant like this. I'm gonna lift up, and when I lift up, I'm basically gonna slide into this freeze, just a little bit. If you guys can imagine, your arm isn't super far back like you would for a hollow back, it's right about here. So you're just gonna slide just a little bit. Kinda like rolling back to a headstand, but you catch and you slide just a little bit. Okay, let's try it slowly, all right? We roll back, catch, lift, all right? All together, up. All right, one more time, up. I'm now gonna do it this way so you guys can see the other view. Lift, up. As you guys see, my arm was positioned right here to catch. My leg lifted up and extended, and once I got to that position, because I practiced holding it, it was really easy to hold. Alright you guys, so that is kind of how you want to practice. You want to first learn how to do this rollback. You want to figure out how to get into it, you want to understand the form, the kick, the lift, the catch. And then, once you get comfortable with that, then start playing around with different ways to get into it. You know, this rollback can also lead to a lot of different other discoveries in yourself. So today, your homework 
is to try to experiment with different ways to get into that rollback. So not just rolling back straight into it, but maybe figuring out some other different ways. Maybe go from different moves, maybe a sweep, maybe a power sweep, maybe go from just rolling, you know, maybe a slide. Um, there's so many different things you guys could do. Get creative, have fun with it. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you guys press like and add it to your favorites. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe to Insanity TV. You guys take care. Peace.